Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There's one thing this chat room needs. It's more cowbell. <clears throat> and if there's one thing that software needs, it's typically a lot more cowbell. Specifically, if it's Windows Update trying to install new software or patches to old software. This question comes in from a community member, Thomas. says, I've been using Windows for years now and I've always been very happy with the Windows Update portion of the OS. Covers all the patches for my software and I don't have to stop what I'm doing just to download updates. Recently, I purchased a few PCs equipped with Vista <laughs> for my home network. Everything was running smoothly until I decided to check and see if Windows had any worthwhile additional updates available to us. My girlfriend is a language geek, his words, not mine, and I noticed that there were a number of language packs that had not been installed on our computer. So I went through the process of downloading and installing these updates for her desktop and my laptop. Upon our next restarts, our computers did not start up properly, and we were forced by gunpoint to run the startup repair tool instead of booting up normally. Now, the gunpoint, of course, was my addition. It was a little creative license just to hammer uh, the point home. The tool fixed our problem, but it took close to an hour to do so, and we were all the while left to twiddle our thumbs and wonder, should we stay away from any Windows updates that aren't necessary? Have you experienced these types of problems, or perhaps has anyone else expressed them to you? Well, uh, I've never had that particular problem when installing uh, updates through Windows Update. I'm glad you were able to reverse the effects of the update. Now, Windows Update, for the most part, is a uh, relatively benign tool. That being said, there have been people who have run into issues once they've installed software updates uh, that may be incompatible with s existing software in the system that the patch wasn't completely tested against before it was released. And in that case, usually a lot of tech publications uh, will issue uh, some kind of article within a day or two after uh, a Windows update that causes a lot of problems. In which case, I wouldn't recommend staying away from Windows Update, but I would recommend maybe waiting a couple days just to see if um, other people are having, I mean, a lot of other people are having issues that you wouldn't necessarily want to run into. Avoiding them altogether is, is not something I would recommend. I mean, there's a reason why these patches are issued and nine times out of ten it's related to some kind of security flaw within Windows. Uh, Windows Update is and can be problematic inside of Windows Vista uh, specifically. Um, I know you think, oh, Chris, you're nuts. Vista's perfect. Really? Well, let's just uh, take a look at Chris Perillo's Windows Update applet. And uh, let's see here. We've got uh, up here, view available updates. It says I've got a driver update for my HP LaserJet 3052 USB and an update for my NVIDIA networking Enforce networking controller. And uh, it, they won't install. They haven't been able to install themselves despite how many times I've rebooted and cleaned and updated and all this crap. They just won't install. And uh, I, I've looked up the error code and you know the troubleshooting help inside of Windows is uh, beyond useless. Uh, and e you, at this point, it's not even worth even looking up uh, in uh, Google to see if there's a, a way to work around these updates because these updates aren't necessary like a security update would be. Um, you know, is it worthwhile to avoid the uh, the software that you don't necessarily need, which is more to Thomas's point? Um, you know, it's kind of up to you. Are you feeling lucky? Well, are you, punk? Uh, you know, you're taking your computer into your own hands. So long as you've got an easy way to restore the the problem, uh, then I say roll forward with it. Try the update, uh, but instead of installing on two computers at one time, install it on one. If you run into problems, there's a likelihood that you'll run onto that. they run into the same problem or uh, with a, a, another machine. Um, not always the case, but I think you've you've underscored the point that apparently the language packs with Windows Vista, specifically in the configurations of your two different machines, apparently were just it just wasn't going to happen. Uh, what about you guys out there? Uh, what do you recommend for Windows updates? I mean, I recommend you know keep them turned on, but what about these optional additional add-ons? You think they're really worth the eff extra effort? Me, I only speak English, so I never install any additional language packs. It's just you know, it's, it, Windows wastes enough space on my hard drive. Why do I need to waste even more with uh, Swedish and, uh, you know, Chinese? I just don't do those things. So anyway, leave a comment, remark, follow up, whatever. Uh, and, of course, we're always uh, talking, talkatively, uh, quite honestly, about cowbells and uh, other random things uh, in the chat room, which, of course, is available 24 hours a day. Even if I'm not there, these guys are at live.perillo.com.
No more cowbell. I gotta stop. Jeez. Okay, fine. I'll pull out my cowbell.